I'm just gonna go ahead and let you see. Now, you before say. you start talking about the challenge, even though don't be looking at I'm me just like saying, that. are you gonna keep it real? Like, I'm serious. I'm always ready. Are you gonna keep it real or what? Because this episode <laughs> there needs to be some real spoken, and I want to make sure you're gonna do just that. Did you see okay. how I look myself up and down? I have a lot to say about this challenge all stars. Let's start with the name of the challenge all stars. The challenge all stars, especially in this particular season, has different meaning to me. And what I mean by that, I say this. The challenge comes up, well, has come up over the years different cast members whatever who really have become athletes our reality world sports arena we can say that right so when they were like i'm gonna bring back the all-stars from way back when and this is no shade because the all-stars from way back when is like go period if it hadn't been for them some of you guys won't be stepping on to any kind of elimination territory or any challenges period okay so these are the gatekeepers so that comes with a different, a different situation. The crown is heavier. I understand that. But why would you say yes? If a company, MTV, comes to you and says, look, we're going to start up the all-stars. We're bringing back real world, real worlds, you, your guys year. Do you want to come through? It will be a competition. We're not going to lay light on you. Just because you guys are older. Point blank, period. Y'all think the community reviews, the one that comes through when she's going to tell you what it is. And some people are not going to like it. And that's who I am, period. 100%. I knew watching this that some of these guys weren't going to make it. I know I'm over the age of 40 and you would put me on there. I wouldn't have made it through the first day. I don't know. I'm just being real. I know I'm in a certain type of age. I'm getting older. I'm not out there working out like I was three years ago. I'm trying to get back into it. And it's a struggle. So you live in your everyday life having babies. It's, it is what it is. No one is judging you for that. It's life. But when they called you up and said, hey. Do you want to come back? Why would you say yes if you were going to BS it? Why would you say yes if you weren't going to actually participate? Okay, in this episode, they have to crawl across these ropes, each team. The team that it's kind of like, okay, I made it across here, boom. But I still got to go all the way across here and touch with my foot, boom. Whoever gets there first, because it's two, it's two teams going each time. Once they hit their foot on both sections the last time, you can cut off the rope of your opponent that's going against you. Competition. That's what it's about. So as each person, the rope gets let go, you fall into the water, splash, boom. This goes on and on and back and forth. Of course, we already know there is the lifesaver at stake and being safe. And of course, the head captain in charge automatically goes down there. So. Mark ended up winning. Okay. Katie, because she always falls in the water and busts her face, decides to just hop in the water. She didn't even want to compete. So, of course, obviously, they're looking at her. Point play, period. And I understood that. So, Mark won the lifesaver. And he's thinking, like everyone else is, what is lifesaver? What does it do? 
Nobody has been strong enough to just use it. They just keep bypassing it because they're afraid of whatever happens. And if you watch Mark in the real world or everything else, he did not give a crap. He always did what he wanted to do. His own beat his own drum. I'm not tripping. I was like, if it was me, I'd probably use it too and just take whatever is going to happen. So he says, okay, hey, hey, I'm going to use a lifesaver and save Katie because who ended up being down there was Katie along with Beth because Beth was the captain and her team lost. By the way, Beth, you got punked into being the captain by uh, your daughter in the house. Challenge daughter. Yeah, I don't care. He don't like that. Even though she's playing a political game, she played you. So anyway, so Mark decides to use it. And with that being said, he says, Katie, bring your little butt up here. So then TJ lays down the law. Now that you have used the lifesaver, you guys have to vote. On who goes down there with Beth. Beth, excuse me. And I mean when I say everybody was like, damn. We just went through the voting, everything. We thought we were straight. We were going to just sit back and watch the show. Now we got the vote again. So. They all vote one by one. Kendall was a choice. But if y'all think y'all could be Kendall, you ladies are crazy because Kendall gonna be all y'all point blank, period. I don't know why y'all look at her as light. I forgot the other girl's name. Both of those girls, the ones that are stuck together like glue, those two have always been big competitors. Kellyanne. Y'all sleeping on them. At the end, each person ended up voting versus the end. It wasn't everyone in the house. So, when Arisa gets voted in, as she walks past, everyone, they're like, oh, good luck, girl, you got this. Come on, girl, let's go. She said, don't touch me. I saw that. I saw that. You were going in negative, even though I say this, Lord knows my attitude can be funky. And I don't know how I would have reacted. Even if I would have said, don't touch me, I would not have been breathing all of that smoke to do what you did. Now, let me go ahead and do what I do. Let me go ahead and break this down. Oh, yeah. Mm. I'm ready. Now, you signed up for this. That includes being eliminated. That includes being chosen to be eliminated by the entire group. All of that falls under the heading of yes. When you signed up to do this. Okay. By the way, I loved you when you used to compete back in the day. I just don't know what happened. So when you go down there and you and Beth put your helmet on. I said as soon as her helmet started to slide off her head, I said I know she ain't finna quit. I know she ain't finna quit because even if she got sent home and threw the F you sign up on the way out the door, respect because you went through with it. But what did you do? I just want to tell everybody that voted me in that you guys are a snakes and F you and I cannot compete and I won't come back into the house. No. Let's keep it real. You thought you were going to lose and didn't want to lose on TV. You were worried about your pride. Now, behind the scenes, they saying you were having a problem because you are a vegan, which explains how small you are. Being a vegan, the food you were eating, and you were struggling. I get all that. I'm pretty sure they weren't supplying you with exactly what you need. I 100% believe that but to me that was a 
cop out. You straight up quit. You didn't even try. You could have came through like a beast, sent Beth home and said, F you. I made it. I still won. You threw me in or whatever. The one thing that I can say, they can call it the granny version or grandpa version or, the, or whatever. Because I've been right there with them. Because we all in the same age group. The one thing they can say, they're doing something that most of us cannot say we could do. Climb those ropes, holding on to two and three, going back and forth over all that water. The same as a 20-year-old Cam and Lee and all of them. You're able to get up there and do that. Respect. Not only do I respect you, respect the fact that you go through it. Beth didn't want to be down there. Beth did not want to be down there. But did Beth do it? Yes, she did. It was the woman's elimination. Look, at the end of the day, there is a woman in the man's elimination every week. It was a hard challenge, but everybody got through it except for Katie. I'm disappointed. You're making us look bad, bro. Even if I would have fell in the water and, and struggled. When it came to that last competition, as far as being eliminated, I would have fought. I would have did whatever I had to do. Even to say, F you, you, you all voted me down here with well, look. So Beth ended up staying in the house and she went home. TJ was like, wait a minute, you're not finna quit. I was like, bro, I was disappointed. Didn't understand it. Didn't make any sense. I don't give a care if you didn't get to eat, whatever, nothing that you say makes sense that you want to quit because you were mad they voted you in. Who gives a crap? And as far as people are saying she isolated herself, I don't think that has, I mean, if it do have anything to do with them voting her in, and it is a social game, let's be real. But if I was to have the type of attitude that I do not want to be bothered with nobody, keep to myself and all these things, I'm winning everything. Because I'm going to talk that smoke and talk that crap, but I'm going to be able to back it up. I'm winning everything. Okay, I don't talk to you. Man, what? It's money. It's coins. I don't have to. Now, with that being said, it is politics. It is a social game. So it does make sense to communicate with the, with the cast. For you to decide to quit like that to me, I cannot respect that. Uh-uh. No. Katie fell in the water. And you could say she quit or eliminated herself. But you know what Katie did? When it came down to it, she said, I'm going to put, I'm going to uh, nominate myself because I fell in the water and I already knew I was going to be going in. So guess what? I nominate myself. Boom. Respect. Woman, a person of color. Come on. I didn't want to do it, but I had to. I was very irritated with that this morning. I, look, as a blogger, I do try. Because I do commentary on reality shows, TV shows, scripted shows, or whatever. And I give my opinion. But the problem. The problem that I actually have. Is that. 
I'm still gonna give my opinion. I'm still gonna keep it real. I'm just not gonna come on here and lie and be us because it's TV. If I don't ever get an interview, if I don't ever get to talk to somebody from that, it doesn't matter to me because I gotta keep it a hundred percent with myself at the end of the day. I'm just disappointed. So Katie was safe. Beth didn't have to compete. Arista went home. I don't have much more commentary about this episode. I really don't. I'm going to leave this here. Because that's pretty much all that I have to say about it. Mm, mm, mm.